if you're striving for a truly cinematic experience in your home theater, you likely already know a projector is going to give you the best results. But what are the features you really need and what kind of quality do you want? These days, it's all about 4K resolution and several projectors can also deliver this ultra high definition format. I'm Aaron for Best Buy Canada's blog and I recently had the opportunity to test out a new projector from BenQ. It's the 4K BenQ TK800. I'll tell you all about it, but first, mash that like button and hit us up with a sub so we can get future reviews directly to you. The BenQ TK800 is definitely light and portable. In the box, you'll find the projector, the AC cord, and a remote control. The projector is white with a neat iridescent blue faceplate, making it a little more interesting than the average projector. There's not a whole lot of setup to do. Just plug in the power, connect your peripheral of choice after that. I'm not going to go through the full list of specs, but if you want them, head to blog.bestbuy.ca. There are several ways to connect devices. You can connect a computer via the PC or VGA connector. There's two HDMI ports, plus a mini USB, a regular USB or Type A, an RS-232 connector, plus spots to plug in a remote trigger and an aux plug for audio out and an audio in. I chose to connect a Roku 4K media streamer to test out the device, and it was all up and ready to go in a moment. While it's easy enough to adjust the image size and the focus using the two wheels on top of the projector and employing the grid guide found in the menu, you can also use auto keystone, though it doesn't appear to be what you think it is. It turns out there's not much auto in auto keystone. It won't size the image for you. Instead, it lets you use the cursor controls to make adjustments, and I don't really call that automatic. Unhelpfully, it also takes a few seconds for the resize to take effect, so it's easy to adjust too much and then need to undo it. While it's possible to create a nearly four meter large image, I didn't need anything quite that big. I used the projector with my Elun Vision 106 inch Alera Nano Edge screen, and I'll link up my review of that screen here as well. The TK800 has 3000 lumens of brightness and a 10,000 hour lamp. And BenQ also makes a lot out of the 4K quality with its XPR chip. Now this is where things are going to get a bit complicated. XPR is a pixel shifting technology that BenQ says helps projectors to achieve true 4K resolution and give you 8.3 million distinct pixels. So is that to say that this projector doesn't have a true 4K display chip? Getting answers on this was not easy. On BenQ's website, nowhere does it list the projector's native resolution, saying only that the resolution is 3840 by 2160. And my question about this on Twitter to BenQ went unanswered. But several other reviewers have stated that the true native resolution is 1920 by 1080. Now, an XPR chip is supposed to fool the eye into seeing more pixels or a sharper image than what's actually there. So why all the subterfuge around the resolution with this projector? I have no idea because the resolution in the image actually looks really great, so why not just be up front? But I digress. Kind of. So how does the video image actually look? It's excellent. It's sharp and realistic and bright and colorful. If it's not true 4K, you wouldn't know it. The colors are bright and vibrant, and even with some ambient light coming into my media room, it was bright and easy to watch. The picture is clear and even right to the edges. I watched several shows on this projector, including The Rain, Marcella, Black Earth Rising, Miss Fisher's Mysteries, and Velvet Buzzsaw. I was pretty happy with all of them and how they played out on the BenQ TK800. Watching darker scenes didn't seem to be problematic, at least no more so than watching very dark scenes on a 4K TV. The colors vibrant on this projector watching Blue Planet 2, and it was astounding how vibrant and realistic the colors are. There are several different viewing modes with this projector. There's cinema, sport, football, user, bright, and vivid. Like Auto Keystone, it takes a few seconds for changes to take effect. I had a really tough time discerning between these modes, particularly since it takes so long to swap among them. I think I need to watch and re-watch the same movie over and over in the different modes to see if there's one that's better overall. And since I only had limited time with this projector, I didn't do that. Suffice to say, these modes are available, but the difference between them is not immediately discernible. Steven, this is Crystal, my fiance. Like other projectors, the BenQ TK800 comes with a built-in speaker, and BenQ makes a lot out of that, touting, quote, powerful bass and crisp highs to feel heart-pounding excitement of intense gameplay, and, quote, long-lasting sensual sound without distortion. Okay. 
Again, let's be honest, you definitely need some kind of external speakers with this device if you want to get any joy at all from this machine. The speaker does sound okay, but it's very mono sounding, it's somewhat tinny, and there's really no bass to speak of. Sensual sound quality? No. You definitely need to connect it to a proper sound system. Overall, if you're looking for a great quality home theater projector, you'll be really happy with this one. The color, resolution, and detail in this projector is outstanding. My chief complaints are around the switching of the settings. It takes a long time, sometimes up to about six seconds, for any changes to actually take effect on the screen, so it does make it feel as though the projector is a bit laggy. The speaker also does not live up to the BenQ hype, but the video quality is really, really great. If you want to read more about the BenQ TK800, head over to blog.bestbuy.ca where we've put a full write-up and you can post any questions you have either there or here on the YouTube channel. If you like this video and found it helpful, please hit that like button and consider subscribing since it does help us keep making more videos that we hope everyone out there can watch, enjoy, and learn from. I'm Erin. You can find me on Twitter or Instagram until the next time at ErinLYYC or follow me on Facebook at facebook.com slash techgadgetscanada.